Now to my co-host, hey there, Sally. Hey, Zach. Well, EDCs are all around you, and if you are going to take control of your health, you need to limit your exposure. But how? Dr. Rob is in the house with us. EDCs. Yes. What are EDCs? Endocrine disrupting chemicals. That's why I like and you, you know say that. I know it's kind of a big word, right? Yeah. A bunch of words. <laughs> but you know what's really scary? Is they're all around us. They're everywhere. They're in the clothes that we, we wear every day, the car that we drive in, the bed we sleep in, but the why toothpaste is that, scary? that we brush our teeth with. Because these endocrine disrupting chemicals that are in these products and on our foods and in our clothes interfere with our body's ability to make the hormones that are necessary to be healthy. All right. So what we want to do is we want to limit that exposure to those chemicals on a regular basis. And there's things that we, we know that interrupt those hormones and these dangerous phthalates and triclosan that's in the antibacterial soap. I'm a germ freak, right? so yeah. I do yep. that all the time. I probably wash my hands 9,000 times it already. it dries today. your hands out. Well, when you overuse these uh, items, you're exposing yourself to these chemicals on a regular basis. And your skin is a huge organ which loves to absorb this stuff. So what do we see? We see glyphosates that are on our food. So if you don't wash your food off, you know, you've got chemicals on the food. In uh, the antibacterial soaps that we use, they have triclosan in them. And then there's other products, the perfluorochemicals. chemicals. And so we want to limit our exposure. Toothpaste, for example. Toothpaste? Right? Fluoride. You really? think of fluoride, but everybody wants an active thyroid. Well, here, if your thyroid, it gets interfered with with fluoride. So thyroid, T, the, the T3, needs to bind to iodine. Well, if you're using fluoride, fluoride competes with the iodine. It can interfere with your thyroid function. So I use uh, a fluoride-free toothpaste. So there's ways wow. that we can limit right. that daily exposure. So what do we do? You know, Kelly's talking about all these healthy foods, but if you take all that hot, healthy food after you cook it and store it in a plastic container, which you we start all do. leaching BPAs into it. the food, which is no good. So what can you do to change that? put it in glass. So storing in glass is really good. Eating organic, you know, a lot of people, they eat healthy, they want to eat the organic because there's less pesticides. Mm -hmm. The average individual has over 200 chemicals in their body at any given time. Wow. So by eating organic, you really decrease your exposure. Avoid microwaving any foods in plastic. Do it in, in the uh, Pyrex plates or the ceramic plates. And then change your personal care products. Get, you know, the anti, instead of using the antibacterial, you can use uh, the sea salt solutions to, to clean items, or deodorants like the Thai crystals, better options, or even storing your water in glass containers, not plastic containers. And you see water bottles now with labels that say no EDC or whatever. No free. BPAs. B BPA. But some of the BPAs that have been replaced with newer chemicals are just as bad we're BPAs, finding out. EDC. So the best way to go is use glass. Store okay. it in glass. All right. How do we find you, Dr. Rob, if we have more questions? You can always find us at renewhealth.com. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right.